today we have Ben Bentfelsen. He's going to be doing a stone setting demo for us and we're going to be learning a little bit more about him. So we're going to just jump into it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yes. So the first question we have for you, Ben, is what was your path to becoming a stone setter? All right. Um, <laughs> I started out uh, as a goldsmith, so I, I was 16 and I had to pick a, a school, no idea what to do. So I uh, always liked to work with my hands, play sports and stuff, but then there was one school in Holland who uh, trains people to become a goldsmith, a bench jeweler. So I did that uh, and it was so cool, like I was in my happy place. You were hooked. So I was hooked, definitely. <laughs> so, so that was four years, uh, I was 20. When I finished that, that school and then um, I just got tired of sending my goldsmith work away to, to a professional setter and I always liked, liked how it looked when, when people were setting stones. So I, I looked around for courses in Holland and outside. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I rolled from goldsmithing work and bench jewelry work into the stone setting world. So 16, how did your parents feel about it? Were they like fully supportive or were yeah. they like, ah? Well, it was actually my dad who mentioned school. When he was young, he, uh, he also uh, checked out the school. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I don't have any relatives in the, in the jewelry industry or in, uh, in this kind of work, but um, he knew the school. So, so yeah, they were supportive. So all was good. Yeah, That's awesome. that was a good time. It was a good time. Uh, you've learned from some really impressive artists. Who have you all learned from, if you want to tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, I definitely had enough good, good teachers. Um, so the first course I took was just in Holland, actually, a hand engraving course, um, traditional. And then from there, I found a new approach school with Blaine Lewis. So. In Holland, it was all super traditional, right? Mm -hmm. And that new approach, I thought, okay, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds next level. So we went there. So first Blaine, he uh, mentioned Alexander in Antwerp. Um, I had to admit my Google search is not on point because I didn't know about <laughs> Alexander. But I, I, uh, I went there when I came back from America and then um, had to save some money. But uh, then I went for three months to Alexander, so he's definitely one of my, my uh, teachers, instructors. Um, after that, I went also to San Malfano. I, I met Andrew Biggs at the trade show in Switzerland, and I was like, wow, that engraving looks so cool. So I, uh, I asked him uh, for good good place to learn that. Um, and he mentioned Sam, Alexander mentioned Sam, so I was like, okay. And they both mentioned, like, if you can get a private class with him, that's even better. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Got in touch with Sam, went there. Uh, so Sam is definitely one of one of my teachers. And then um, I wanted to learn more So in, in engraving. So I went after that um, to Austria. I, I was there for over a year as a private student of Martin Stolz. Uh, it's a really good uh, engraver from Austria. Um, so that was definitely not a good teacher. And then, let me see. Oh, I hope I don't miss anybody. Uh, Who's your favorite? Are they all uh, equal? You love uh, them all equally? That, that is so hard to, to say, but it's actually a funny thing. I learn a lot from my students as well. Like yeah. nowadays I teach a lot and it's like, they sometimes come up with techniques or tools and I first think that is just crazy. But I always try it out. Half of it, I just, ignore or, or don't use. And some stuff is actually pretty funny. So I learned from my students as well, uh, but mainly, um, I guess, yeah, 100% mainly uh, Alexander. And now I just see stuff online, test it out. So people I don't even know, but sometimes mm -hmm. uh, it can work for me. So yeah, I think that was it. I really yeah. hope I don't forget anybody. And actually I did, I did a ton of, um, classes here shadowing the classes yeah and from all the teachers who, who who are training here i learned a little bit like so many teachers i have actually it's not like i i figured everything out myself or anything right no. so as a teacher yourself 
what's your favorite thing about teaching people? Hmm. Uh, what I really like is, is the feedback of the students um, afterwards, like how positive they are. The, uh, during the course, it's so cool to see them pick up the, the techniques mm -hmm. and how, how happy they are. Like, uh, yeah, it's just crazy stuff that for me is like, yeah, I do it every day. It's completely new for them, they test it out. It's hard, it's all not so easy. But when they, they start to get the hang of it, it's so cool to see. And we build on that, so we go harder and harder. Um, I think I think just the, the positivity and, and how happy the students are after they are finished with the course and even during the course. Um, and then later on when they share the work or a project that they're proud of, yeah. it's just super nice. Uh, yeah, to be able to help them a little bit with their career and their work. So I think that's, that's the most awesome thing about teaching. Yeah, seeing that growth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, what piece of advice would you have for people who are new to the art, for those um, who haven't done it before? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I would say get, get proper training and proper tools. Um, best is if you can get them pretty much at the same time. It's just tricky if you get all the tools and no training or if you get training and there's a long time before you get the tools. Yeah. Uh, so if you can get those at the same time and then it's just a matter of really making, making a lot of hours with the tools or doing work and just practicing. It's a cool thing, the more you practice and the more you work, the better it gets. The faster, the better, it looks nicer it's way more fun um, so it's it's yeah stone setting at least is very technical so it's just if you spend 10 hours or, or 40 if you spend 40 hours it just goes better and faster yeah I think there's something to being said like people think it just comes naturally but it very much art is something you have to practice at and that's how you get better yeah I hope 100% agree, yep. So you mentioned the trade shows. You've kind of traveled around quite a bit. What is your favorite place so far that you've been, ex besides Emporia, Kansas, <laughs> of course, you know? Uh, wow. Uh, ooh, doo -doo. Well, I just come from a trip to Guatemala and I was really super impressed by the, the nature over there. Mm -hmm. That was super crazy. Um, yeah, I really liked Austria. I like like the mountains there. And it's for me mainly always like, uh, for example, I got picked up from the airport in Brazil for a private training and I felt straight away at home. It was crazy. And the same in Guatemala, same in Austria. So then when, when your first impression is so good with the people there, you think everybody is, is awesome in the country, or at least I think. So, um, hmm. I like Singapore as well. Damn, tough questions, Molly. Uh, <laughs> I guess now because I spent like over a year in Austria, I would, I would pick Austria now. Yeah, yeah. My final answer. Okay. Austria. Mostly because of the people, or because yeah, the, of the. Because you mentioned that you're, you know, athletic and you like the outdoors. And yeah. Sports, so so. The, the combination of those two, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. For the future, you started very at a very young age. You're still very young in the field. You've accomplished so much already. What what are your goals? What do you look forward to moving into the future? Um, I definitely want to continue teaching private classes and, and classes. I super much enjoy just setting stones and working behind the bench, looking through a microscope. So definitely those those two, three things. Uh, I just want to continue to, to grow. Right. And up my skills and get better. And then, um, yeah, like w on the work front, that's pretty much it. Um, I just want to settle down somewhere a bit more. I'm really like hopping around quite a bit now. Mm -hmm. But 
I just love what I do every day. So. I think that's all I have for you, Ben. Thank you for answering my billion questions and for showing us your stone setting demo. We sure. look forward to having you back in the future. Sounds good, Molly. Thank you. Thank you.